Hello, Randy Rain here, and welcome back to the Flea Circus Field. I'm working on Zigzag, the acrobatic, high-flying, tightrope walking flea. I've already got him moving across the tightrope on a little bike, and some other stuff I'm going to be doing with it, but this time I'm going to be building the Flea Ninja Course for him. Now, what it is, is a science trick, basically, and it's also been used as a magic trick. Now, if you have the Tarbell Course in Magic, Volume 6, and you go to page 32, you will see Macklemore's Stop and Go trick. It's funny because it talks about seeing this in Fort Worth, Texas in 1942. Well, it's not 1942, but I am in Fort Worth, Texas, so that's kind of interesting. But what the trick is, is you're supposed to take two chairs, and you tie a rope between the two chairs. And then on the rope, you tie two more ropes. And on those ropes, you hang two balls. Now what happens is you swing one ball, and this one will start swinging. And then it'll make this one start swinging. But as this one starts swinging, this one dies and comes to a stop, and this one keeps swinging. But then eventually, this one will make this one start swinging, and that one will stop, and this one will keep going, and it keeps transferring the energy back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another string going across from here to here, and there's going to be two strings hanging from it. And on those two strings, there are going to be little metal rings. Then I'm going to have a stand here and a stand here. Now on this stand, there's going to be a magnet, and the ring is going to click to that magnet, and that's where the flea is going to start. I'm going to have a little device that pulls the magnet away, which will release the little ring and make it start swinging. That ring will start swinging, which will make this ring start swinging. That one will come to kind of a stop, and this one will keep going, and then there's going to be another stand over here that has a magnet, and it clicks onto there. So the idea is that the flea goes here, swings, jumps across, swings, and gets over here. And that's going to be the ninja course for the flea. So that's what it is. That's what I'm going to do. So let me get started and show you how. So here's my test rig. I just have little nuts on here, but eventually they're going to be rings, but these aren't heavy enough. So I'm going to have to add weight, probably fishing weights, maybe a pinch weight on top so it says a little ball on top or something. But it needs to be a ring, not a, just a nut. But this is my test. So this will be the, these cups act as the little stands here. So this one will be brought back and click onto a magnet and then the magnet will be pulled away you can see it starts swinging which makes the other one start swinging this one kind of stops I printed some more of these out and stuck an eye screw in there and it's going to get glued in right there but since I put paint on here I at least want some of the paint removed. Go with that right there. So I got these little fishing egg steel egg sinkers here. And see, I already put one here. I think it's going to work pretty good, but I have to drill it out. I think even with drilling it out, it's still just as heavy as one of these nuts that I got it working. And so I'm going to start locking this in with some C8 glue. I'm liking where it's at. Yeah, so it's all about the harmonics here, so I think I can, this should be moved over to there. Just, there's three and seven eighths. That's about three and three quarters there. About try that.
<laughs> I think that's it. I'm locking these in. Don't move. So I decided I wasn't getting enough swing here, so I decided to move it back. So I had to make a smaller one, and the solenoid fits in here. And it's going to come all the way back to here and mount onto this piece. So somewhere here. Alright, so before I put it all together, I want to show you this physics thing in full action. So what happens is when you add energy into one of these, I'm going to get it a really good swing here. This one is stopped. This one starts swinging. This one starts causing this one to swing. But as this one starts to swing, it starts canceling out the other one. So the other one now is going to stop as this one starts getting more. The energy moves over to here. So this one's practically stopped. But now since it's stopped, it's going to start going on again. As the, and now this one is going to start getting canceled out. And it's going to want to stop. And of course, if you have something bigger and heavier, you will see the action a lot more than something this small. And so now here's the landing pad. I have a nice little magnet embedded into here. So I'm thinking it works pretty good if I mount it right here. There we go. So now it switches over to this power. Got it. So somewhere around there, that's going to be what it's going to do. Okay, so it's all screwed down. So they say you'd put the flea right here and go here. Hold on to that ring. This one has to stop. And of course, when the flea let goes, he starts swinging. There he goes. He's swinging back and forth. And now he's got to get this one going. He's got to jump across. Boom, did you see him? He jumped across. Now he's swinging on this one. This one's there. He makes it successfully to the other side. Now I have these wires. So the wires here. Since I need to come out a little bit and go down to get away from my little ledge, I'm going to have some stairs. You know, I think I just discovered that this whole solenoid system is not even needed. So after I got it on here, I kept having issues where sometimes it would stick here, sometimes it wouldn't. So then I realized if it wouldn't stick, if I couldn't get it to stick, I could just push these together just a little bit like that, and it would stick. And that's when I realized that all I got to do is push them apart and it goes and it does exactly what I need it to. Click. Even over here to the ropes that are going to be holding these up eventually, I will, can easily have my finger here to be able to push on that or something like that. So I could do it just like this. So like I couldn't get, can't get it to stick. Just push these together a little bit. There we go. So it's there. So I could easily be talking and just have my hand right here. So the little flea has a hold of the ring. It's got to swing out there. So, But this one's got to be stopped here. This one's got to be stopped. It's got to get this one moving. Up oh, there he goes. Look. Here. And. Up. Oh, he jumped across. Did you see? Now he's swinging on this one. Can he make it to the other side? Yes. Yes, he can. Yeah. That's way easier. And simple is better. So. I'm just canceling the solenoid thing. This is a much better idea. I'm taking this all off to paint it anyway, so might as well just glue that magnet in there permanently and remove that solenoid. Now here for the landing pad here, 
So for the final land, to keep it from clicking, I got some felt here. I'm going to put a little CA glue there, cover it up like that, then put some more this on top. So, should be fairly quiet. So while that's drying, I want to work on this. Each little flea will have their own ring. It's a three ring circus, so there's going to be a ring here, and I just, instead of just trying to cut out perfectly around these, I'm just going 90 degrees to the circle on each one, because it's just going to be better looking by the end, so like when I get to here, there'll be a ring here, so this weird going into just this little section, there's, and then around this curve, so, yeah, that's just, just needs to be like that there, and like that there. So that makes this one just like that. But I need to paint it. We'll start with the white, even though it is white, but this is ABS, and it's going to yellow, so I'm actually painting the white. Plus, I like the color of the paint better little kind of different white. Alright, so it's time to install my ring. I've got it all painted. It's just going to get glued down. Now when it's all finished, I'm going to do like model train sets and there's going to be like sand in here but it's going to be glued down where it soaks through and then everywhere else is going to be grass but that's going to be the very last thing but that's it for that. With that pretty much being done, I'm going to go back to the tightrope for just a little bit because I have an idea and it involves this screwdriver, some pieces of tissue paper, and some clear Elmer's glue. Put some glue on the end of this screwdriver. Then I'll take a piece of tissue paper. Okay, I think it's dry now dry enough for what I need to do. So now I'm going to use this X-Acto knife I want to cut out here I'm just going to cross over closer. I've cleaned it up and sharpened my uh, points here. Now I'm going to paint it with some enamel paint. So now this is pretty dry and the glue shouldn't have stuck very well to this plastic. So hopefully I can pop this off if I just work my way underneath it.
So now I have this little piece upside down and I'm going to take some CA glue and I'm going to try to put a nice thin coat over the bottom. So have you figured out where I'm going with this? If so, then you know it needs a hole drilled into it. Right in the center. So now I have this little tiny magnet that I have here stuck to this screwdriver. And I'm going to take some CA glue and put it right on that magnet. So check this out. I have a carbon fiber rod here that I've ground out a little notch. And I'm going to glue this magnet into that notch. Okay, I need to fill in everywhere. So I'm now going to shape down the magnet to the shape of the rod. Okay, now I'm going to paint it and I'm going to go out of my color scheme. Going yellow. I can't believe I was working so hard only to find out it was something so easy. It almost feels like it's cheating, but it's not because, first of all, simple's always better. Simple's easier to maintain, simple's easier to perform, simple is easier to fix. But that's not the only thing. If you look at these pieces that I added, that's the maximum height that I can have and still close this lid. That means I can put heights here on the sides as well, which gives me enough angular leverage to be able to lift these up as the lid opens up. So as the lid pulls up, these things come up. That means all of the pressure pulling on these things is coming from the lid wanting to lay down backwards. That means I can control how tight this thing is and how loose it is to connect and to dislodge just by moving the lid. It's perfect. Well, it still feels like cheating, but I'm just going to have to get over it because I actually love it. Anyway, I'm sure you want to see this in action. Now you have to remember, this is the middle act. There's a flea act before, and there's a flea act for the finale. This is the middle act. But this is the hardest one I had to do, so I had to get this out of the way. So, you ready to see this little act in action? Well, here we go. First of all, it's zigzag, the high-flying acrobatic obstacle course doing flea. So he's inside this little box here. I'll pull him out here. Oh, they're excited. They're excited. Let me see. Okay. I don't know. It's, uh, here we go. It's this one right here. This is the flea. I'm going to put him on the bottom of these stairs and I'll let him walk up these stairs. Put the fleas back here. So here we yeah, okay, he's ready, he's there. So, so he'll grab a hold of this ring here. And this ring has to stay very still. It stops at a dead stop. Now he's going to have to swing out on here, get this one to swinging, and then that one has to get swinging. He's going to jump over to that one, and then he's got to end up all the way over here. Let's see if he can do it. There he goes. He's swinging. He just jumped across. Did you see? Now he's got to get this one going. Can he reach it? Can he get it to the end? He did it! Yes! Yes, he did it. Very, very good. That's amazing here. Let's see. If I 
take zigzag and I place him here at the very top. Now, remember, he's an insect, so an insect has six legs. He's going to stand on his hind legs and walk across. That's with his hind legs. With his top legs, he's going to hold on to this umbrella. And then with his middle legs, he's going to hold on to the balance beam. Now let's see if he can go across. There he goes. Come on, don't lose your balance. Come on, what's he doing? Is he going to fall? Oh my goodness. No, can he keep it up? He's got to fix himself. There, oh, look at that. He does, he makes it all the way across. That's pretty amazing. But that's not anything. Put him on the little motorcycle. And there he goes. He's going to make it. He's going to drive the little motorcycle all the way across. Come on, zigzag. You can do it. Here he goes. And yes, all the way across. Let's give it up for zigzag. The amazing high flying flea. Well, of course, I've been working on this, and I haven't had any time to work on any kind of patter. But expect a better performance when it's all done. But that's zigzag. You get the idea. And there's going to be a performance before and after. And one of those is what I'm going to be starting in the next video. It's either going to be El Gigento or the Big Arrow. Try to guess which one it is. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate a like. That would help me out. I want to thank these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. I couldn't do any of this kind of stuff without these people, and I thank them so much. If you want to become a patron, there are some perks. Go check it out. There's also a donation link if you want to do that. Or if you want something for your money, I have a magic and toy store where I built everything, so you can go check that out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.